Yermiyahu chapter 40 The word that came to Yermiyahu from Yahweh after Nebuzaradan, chief of the guard, had let him go from Ramah, when he had taken him bound in chains among all the exiles from Jerusalem and Yehuda who were being exiled to Babel. And the chief of the guard took Yermiyahu and said to him, Yahweh your Elohim has spoken this evil on this place, and Yahweh has brought it on, and has done as he has said. Because you have sinned against Yahweh and did not obey his voice, therefore this matter has come upon you. And now, see, I loosen you today from the chains that were on your hand. If it seems good to you to come with me to Babel, come, and I shall look after you. But if it seems wrong for you to come with me to Babel, remain here. See, all the land is before you. Go wherever it seems good and right for you to go. And before he replied, Nebuzaradan said, or go back to Gedaliah, son of Achikam, son of Shaphan, whom the sovereign of Babel has made governor over the cities of Yehuda, and dwell with him among the people, or go wherever it seems right for you to go. And the chief of the guard gave him provisions and a gift and let him go. So Yirmiyahu went to Gedaliah, son of Achikam, to Mitzpah, and dwelt with him among the people who were left in the land. And all the commanders of the armies who were in the fields, they and their men, heard that the sovereign of Babel had made Gedaliahu son of Achikam governor in the land, and had put him in charge of the men and women and children and the poor of the land, who had not been exiled to Babel. So they came to Gedaliah at Mitzpah, Yishmael the son of Nethanyahu, and Yohanan and Jonathan the sons of Kireach, and Sariah the son of Tanhumeth, and the sons of Ophai, the Netophatite, and Yazanyahu the son of Amaachatite, they and their men, and Gedaliahu, son of Achikam, son of Shaphan, swore to them and their men, saying, Do not be afraid of serving the Kazdim. Dwell in the land and serve the sovereign of Babel, and it shall be well with you. And I, see I am dwelling at Mitzpah, to serve the Kazdim who came to us. But you, gather wine and summer fruit and oil, and put them in your vessels, and dwell in your cities which you have taken. Also, when all the Yehudim who were in Moab, and among the Ammonites, and in Edom, and who were in all the lands, heard that the sovereign of Babel had left the remnant of Yehuda, and that he had set over them Gedaliahu son of Achikam son of Shaphan, then all the Yehudim returned from all the places where they had been driven, and came to the land of Yehuda to Gedaliahu at Mitzpah, and gathered wine and summer fruit in large quantities. And Yohanan son of Kareach, and all the commanders of the army that were in the fields came to Gedaliahu at Mitzpah, and they said to him, Do you certainly know that Baalis, Sovereign of the Ammonites has sent Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, to strike you, a being. But Gedaliahu, son of Achikam, would not believe them. Then Yohanan, son of Kareach, spoke secretly to Gedaliahu in Mitzpah, saying, Please let me go and strike Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, without anyone knowing it. Why should he murder you, and so let all the Yehudim who are gathered to you be scattered, and the remnant in Yehuda perish? But Gedaliahu, son of Achikam, said to Yohanan, son of Kareach, do not do this matter, for what you are saying about Yishmael is not true.